All right, this is Arash from uh, Android Cowboy, and um, today we're going to uh, go over how to root your Kindle Fire. This is a walkthrough. Now, uh, first thing you do, you should uh, visit the page root Kindle Fire HD, and I'll have the link in the description. Uh, there, you need to get the drivers. Now, it's important that you've installed the drivers correctly. And if you have, um, if you go into your device manager, um, you should see. Let me zoom in here. Um, you should see under. Uh, you should see a Kindle Fire. Um, so I can bring this in a little closer. Uh, you should see a Kindle Fire. You can see it's just an Android Composite ADB interface. Um, so that's what you're going to you're going to uh, need there. And if that's not showing up, um, then most likely uh, you haven't installed the drivers correctly. Um, so that's really important. Uh, you'll want to un uninstall all your drivers um, and and redo. <clears throat> redo your drivers correctly, and the instructions are are in the uh, web page. So uh, once you have that uh, completed, you also need to get the binary uh, four zip file. And again, that's going to be in the, in the site here. You can go uh, go download that um, as well. Once you get that, you want to unzip that uh, file to somewhere on your computer. And once you do that, you, you should go into. Um, uh, you'll need to go into uh, your command prompt here. Um, and uh, so go into your command prompt and you can type CMD usually in the start menu and that will come up and once you're in the command prompt you want to navigate towards um, where you downloaded the, the zip folder so I've already done that uh, for me that's uh, that's in the um, C users Arash downloads folder for me but for you may be different um, so you need to navigate there and there, uh, you'll want to then uh, type uh, run me, and that will uh, start the program. As you can see, there's a couple options. Uh, what you want to do is pick uh, option uh, option number one, and your Kindle should be now, you know, should be connected to the computer via USB. So pick number one, and uh, it will run through. And what you're going to get is uh, on your Kindle Fire. Um, you're actually going to get, uh, let me zoom out here real quick. Um, so you can see you're going to get this thing where it says full restore. Now this is actually not going to um, erase anything on your computer, but in box one where it's there, you need to put your Amazon password. So that's your um, that's your Amazon password that you log in with. So you need to put that, I'm going to type that in real quick uh, for you guys. Um, and once you do that, it's going to be pretty simple. So so once you got the Amazon password in there, uh, just hit restore my data. And what it's going to happen is uh, it's going to run through some more stuff and it's going to reboot in 10 seconds as it as it tells you. Um, we're going to go through another reboot later. So there you go. So now the Kindle Fire is is rebooted as you can see. Uh, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to boot up in a second. So that's the first part of the process. Now when it reboots, I'm going to show you it's going to be really slow and sluggish and that's kind of uh, is, is correct um, and <clears throat> you'll and so don't be worried about that it's that's supposed to be that way but we're gonna keep it connected that's really uh, that's going to be really important as you can see it is waiting for device so now we're going to uh, go back in there so now it's going to be really sluggish like it's barely it's barely uh, going to uh, kind of be functional but that's okay so it's, in that sense this is just waiting for it to show up again so here we go so now we're in you can see it's kind of very sluggish um, things aren't showing up um, so you can try to unlock it um, but it's but keep it connected that's okay it's supposed to be sluggish um, it's going to basically once a device shows up it's going to basically reboot it again um, so just give it a second. Just keep it connected there. And what, once it recognizes the device, it's going to... Uh, so there you go. So now reboot it again, as you can see. It's rebooting again. And that's basically it. Now when it reboots, it's going to be normal. And uh, you, will have, uh, uh, you will have root access. And that's basically it. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple process. <clears throat> and at this point, you should be able to... Uh, um, unhook the device. You uh, you you, won't, you don't need to be connected anymore. But I'm going to keep it connected. Um, but so now we're going to reboot back up, and you guys will see that it'll be back to the normal speed that it is, um, and it'll be 
uh, root it as well. So here we go. So there we go. So now we're back in. As you can see, it's working fine. Um, if you go into your app section, you will see that super user app right there. So that's what means you have root access. And I can double check here because I have this app called Titanium Backup, and that doesn't work with our root. So if I open that, uh, as you can see, it was working fine. Uh, if you can look here where it says root access, okay. All uh, right. So basically, we have root access. So. So that's basically it. So it's a pretty easy process. Um, so I hope you guys, uh, you know, uh, like this video. I hope it's useful. Um, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and, and reshare it. And, and uh, be sure to visit Android Cabo. We have tons of stuff on the Kindle Fire, installing, Play Store, uh, alternative launchers, many other things. Uh, so please, um, you know, go ahead and check those out and leave us a comment if you have any questions.